All right, Shalom brothers out there. Uh, first and foremost, before I start, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash. I want to say double honors to the apostles at Great Millstone who taught me this word. Mashallah, I'm all you brothers out there that's teaching this word in truth and sincerity. All right, you know, back at it with another lesson. GMS Strive to be saved. Coming in the spirit of Yah Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash. All right, in the name of the Holy Spirit. All right, so just, you know, back at it. Um, hot topic of the week, man. This woman, Amber Geiger, okay, she was a judge. Um, I'm sorry, she was a, a police officer um, who basically uh, murdered uh, some Jake in his apartment. You know what I'm saying? An uh, innocent Jake, you know, well, he wasn't innocent to the most high, you know. But um, according to, to this society, you know, and the law that's put down here, okay, um, she should have been, you know, basically going to jail for life, man, okay? But um, <laughs> here goes our people, man, you know? Our people uh, fucking just surrounded with that, that philosophy of love and shit that Esau put out there, man, you know? No matter what you do, you done, uh, I love you, man, you know? That's that's Esau's philosophy, man. And our people ate that up, man. Okay? So I just want to go through this article. You know, I got a couple of scriptures. You know, Lord willing, this lesson may be edifying. All right, so just starting with the article, it says, Amber Geiger's judge gave her a Bible and a hug. <laughs> wow. Did that cross a line? It says, after a high-profile murder trial, Judge Tammy Kemp ignited a debate about the limits of compassion. A former Dallas police officer, Amber Geiger, was sentenced to 10 years for murder in an unusual uh, police shooting case. At the end of the trial, Judge Timmy Kemp gave her a Bible and a hug. <laughs> man, our people are through, man. Our people are through, especially our people in this society with high positions, man. You know, like this, this black woman right here. You know, she a judge and shit, man. She's through, you know. She don't know nothing about the Lord. OK, so it goes on. It says the trial was over at last after days of emotional testimony in a case that uh, gripped and divided the nation. A white former Dallas police officer had been sentenced to 10 years in prison for murdering a black man in his own apartment. The shouts of protest that had filled the courthouse hallways had quieted. Everyone was getting ready to go home, but the judge was not done. After speaking with the speaking with and hugging the victim's parents, the judge Tammy Kemp returned to the courtroom with her personal Bible in hand. <laughs> she gifted it to the officer Amber R. Geiger and pointed it to John three sixteen, a passage about salvation. Wow, man! You know, for, first off, you know she don't even know what that scripture means, John three and sixteen. Okay, that's that's concerning Israel, man. You know, only Israel can receive salvation. Two, she's an Edomite, you know? Esau, he has no place of repentance to salvation, man. Okay? Let me get the scripture real fast. Let's see. Um, Slock here. Okay, phone is tripping. Okay, so it says, uh, Hebrews 12 and 16, it says, Lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. Right, so you got to go back to uh, Genesis 25 and 25th chapter to, to get some understanding. Okay, so, uh, you know, Esau, okay, he, uh, it's like, it's Esau, he sold his birthright to Jacob, okay, because Jacob supplanted him. OK, for the birthright, you know, because Isaac, you know, which was our Lord, Yahweh Shai, if you could receive it, was going to uh, bless Esau. OK, with with the birthright, man. OK, but it was all set up in the spirit for Jacob to supplant him. OK, and for Jacob. All right. Which is the forefather um, of us, man, is our, for our forefathers, man. All right. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native and Seminole Indians out there, man. You know, the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. It was set up for us to get the birthright. Okay? 
So Esau sold his birthright for one morsel of meat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it just shows you, it goes to show you how weak of a person he is, man. Okay? And he's, and he's still weak to this very day, man. Verse 17, for ye know how that afterward, when he have when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected. For he found no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears. You see? So Esau has no place of repent repentance, man. Okay? No matter how much he cries, man. Okay, just like that that damn woman, man. Okay? She ain't going to go unpunished as well as them damn Jakes, man. You know, because all them Jakes had that spirit on them, man, that that love spirit. You know, that shit, that shit is a real strong, heavy demon that our people have on them, man. OK. They <laughs> say, hey, hey, what does it say in Romans, man? Matter of fact, let's get that real fast. What's that? Romans uh, 13. Romans 13 and uh, 10. It says, love worketh no ill to his neighbor. You see? <laughs> what happened to that, Esau? Esau over here seeking love, okay? But she wasn't seeking love when she, when she murdered that man, okay? So love worketh no ill to his neighbor. Therefore, love is fulfilling of the law. And Esau would never fulfill the law, man, all right? He is he is the number one lawbreaker. Okay? So let's go back to um before I do that, let's go back to Hebrews 12. So Hebrews 12 and uh 17 says, For ye know how that afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected, for he found no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears. Right, man. So Esau has no place of repentance. So what is what the hell is this black woman talking about uh, salvation, man? You know, why is she pointing to the to the uh, to that scripture talking about salvation? Esau has no salvation. OK. All right. In the kingdom, in the kingdom of heaven. All right. Um, After a thousand years of a hardcore slavery. All right. His whole race is going to be exterminated. Okay. Oh, look at that bullshit. Not mean to click on that. Okay. Murder reached out her arm. The judge stealing her black robes and a pearl necklace wrapped her in in an embrace. All right, so she embraced this devil. You know. And so, and so did fucking the family, man, of the of the victim, you know, of the Jake who died. They embraced this devil, man. Okay, but if it was the other way around, it wouldn't be like that, man. Okay, that's why, man, our people need death, man. Okay, you know, and I'm just that's just a just a fact, you know. It's just a fact because once once they die, okay, they're gonna be in their right mind. All right, they're going to understand true judgment, okay? They ain't going to be bugged out like how they are on this side, man, okay? It says, some saw the striking moment between a black female judge and a white former officer as an extraordinary example of humanity. Others have criticized it as inappropriate, biased, and potentially unconstitutional. It's just fucking, man, That's it's just some bullshit, man, you know? It show you how bugged out the American Negro is. All right, in America, man. You know? Our people, it's 2019, and, and our people still don't know that the white man's the devil. Okay? I think it's time to bring that scripture out, man. Fuck this damn devil. Okay? What's that, um... What's that scripture? Lock it, brothers. Bear with me. Yeah, man. Proverbs 11 and 21. It says, though hand joined in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished. You see? Though hand joined in hand. Though, though our fucking people, all right, 
uh want to join in with this devil man and want to want to save him too okay the wicked should not be unpunished because it's the most high's plan yahweh bashim yahweh's plan okay to judge the wicked all right so if you want to be that if you want to be with the wicked well guess what you're going to get judged with him okay and that's two-thirds of our people though hand join in hand the wicked shall not be unpunished but the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. Why? Because because the seed of the righteous, they know judgment. Okay. They tell you in Jeremiah the fifth chapter that the Lord seeks a man that seek truths and, and true judgment, man. Okay. And and true judgment is uh. It says, um, critics have also questioned whether a black defendant would have been shown the same compassion. Exactly. Hell no. The answer is hell no. Okay. I was reading something, uh, on Instagram where, uh, it said, uh, a black woman was sentenced 20 years for, sh for firing off shots in the air, you know, just, just taking her gun and, sh and you know, Shots in the air. 20 years. You know what I'm saying? What type of bullshit is that? Okay. But this white woman <laughs> gets 10 years with five off parole? Come on, man. It says African Americans. You know, we know we ain't African Americans. You know, but I'm going to keep going. It says are more likely than white people to be arrested. True. Convicted and given stiff sentences. All facts, man. Okay. So, man, man, you jakes, man. <sighs> man, you, man. The only thing that's going to wake you jakes up is the missiles, man. That's the only, man, how can't you fucking jake see that the so-called white man is the devil, man? Esau is the devil. Okay. This is, this, this place is, was not here for you to flourish. Okay. It's not here for you to uh, become someone, become somebody. All right. This is punishment, man. All right. The land of our captivity. It says. What was that? According to research by the sentencing project, a group that advocates for criminal justice reform. OK, it says Christopher Scott, a black man who spent nearly 13 years in prison for uh for a murder he did not commit said he never said he had never received a hug from a judge in all his experiences with the criminal justice system including an uh exonation hearing in Dallas County in 19 in 2009 you see you know and that's a Jake who who actually didn't commit that crime you know like the uh like the central park five man you know that's a uh good watch and brothers you know and you seen that story um you know it's on youtube and i believe like the documentary is on netflix you know what i'm saying it's a good watch man you know basically a bunch of uh jakes went to jail you know for a crime they didn't commit okay they didn't get no hugs so it says, I've watched all the exonations that happened in, in, in Dallas County. I've never seen it, said Mr. Cup, Mr. Scott, who went on to found an organization that investigates other wrongful crimes. We don't get handshakes. We don't get hugs. We don't get Bibles. They just say, we're sorry for what happened to you, and you are a free man to go. You see? But it just goes to show you that this is this devil society, man. Look how the fucking white man, woman, and child is treated here. Okay, they get all the jobs, you know. They they're first, you know. That <laughs> man. That's why we need to get out of here, man. How could you niggas want to stay here? It says Ty Tony, who followed it, followed the trial from his home in Las Vegas, was among those who viewed the judge's actions as commendable. I watch a lot of these trials because it's kind of personal to me," said Mr. Tony. Who said his brother was killed in a police shooting in California in the late 1900s? 
Let me see how long does this go, man. You know? Because, you know, brothers get the point. You know what I'm saying? You know? You brothers could read this article as well, man. I just want to hit it, hit that couple of, you know, that point. Okay? You know? But basically, the judge, um, the bailiff, okay, and the, the brother, man, they all gave uh, this damn devil right here uh, compassion, man. They all gave her compassion. Okay? You need to get the hell up out of here, man. What's the what the scripture say about it though? Let's get him. This is Ecclesiasticus chapter 12, verse 10. It says, Never trust thine enemy. For like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. That's what spirit Jake should be in. Never trust in his enemy. Okay? If you if you trust in your enemy, you're a damn fool. You know? That's a problem with Jake, man. They don't even know who their enemy are. You know, they think their own people was their enemy, you know? But the enemy made them think that way. Verse 11, though he humble himself and go crouching, right? Though he humble himself, man, you know? Because Esau would do that, you know? Esau would go humble himself. That's why, <laughs> what's the word devil mean? It means deceiver. He'll deceive you. Oh man, he just a humble white man. That's a, just a humble white woman. She didn't mean to do it. You know, I bet you she wouldn't do it again. <laughs> That's the mind of these jakes, man. All right. The scripture said, never trust thy enemy. Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. Beware of him. Okay. Because what's in, what's in a, a, a snake's nature? Okay. It's in a snake in nature to bite you. It says, yet take good heed and beware of him as thou shalt be unto him as if thou had wiped a looking glass and thou shalt know that his rust have not been altogether wiped away. Right. His wickedness is ain't all ain't all gone. You know, it's in there. All right. He just put it on a facade that he was humble and righteous. OK. And that's the so and that's Esau's M.O. All right. Start calling his ass by his name. Verse 12, set him not by thee, lest when he have overthrown thee, he stand up in thy place. All right? And you best believe that white woman, she's going to get off, man. You know, if we, hey, you know what? She ain't going to get off because Lord willing, we ain't going to be here. You know? We ain't going to be, we're going to be in the kingdom, Lord willing. You know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, they gave her five years. So if we was here five years, she would get that parole and be out, man. You know? It says, neither let him sit at thy right hand, lest he seek to take thy, lest he seek to take thy seat. As thou, as thou at the last remember my words and be pricked therewith. Who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent or at, or any such as come nigh unto wild beasts? You see? So the scripture is saying, just never trust your enemy, man. You know? Never trust him, man. Okay? Never trust your enemy, man. All right, and that's that's what the scriptures say, man. So, hey, this 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 damn devil, you know, she gonna be put to death. And Jake, man, is a damn shame, man. Okay, let me go back real quick. This, you know, this is a damn shame right here, man. You know, our people are something else, man. You know, but I don't want to make this lesson too long, brothers, man. You know, Esau's through. All right, our people are through. You know, your house shy is on his way back, man. Okay? And hey, fuck this place, man. You know, more flabber ball, man. Okay? So um Lord willing this lesson was edifying. I'm gonna close it out by giving all praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash. Wanna give double honors to the apostles that great millstone taught me this word. Watch Shalom to all you brothers out there that's teaching this word in truth and sincerity. Shalom. Stay up, brothers.